right, thanks, Madison. This morning, cleanup continues in Virginia Beach. The city remains under a state of emergency after a tornado ripped through the Broad Bay Point Greens neighborhood. The Sunday tornado left behind more than $15 million in damage. That video from Chopper 10 really says it all. Incredibly, no one was killed and there were no major injuries. After being closed yesterday, students and teachers who can will return to three city schools. And we also know it was an EF3 tornado and that path, the tornado's path, it stretched nearly five miles. Our Car Maria Bray spent yesterday morning on the scene and now she joins us once again with the latest. So Car Maria, about how fast were the storm's winds? Katie and Bianca, let this information sink in. The max winds from that tornado spun at around 145 miles per hour and ripped through Northern Virginia Beach homes and damaged homes and cars. Now, one man who was impacted by the tornado says that seeing the damage online and on TV doesn't do it justice. He says it's worse witnessing the damage in person. Video from Chopper 10 shows that roofs and second floors of homes were destroyed and several cars were crushed by trees. Neighbors and contractors did begin cleaning up fallen trees and debris yesterday. The city says nine homes are destroyed and 36 others are unlivable. And our team heard from a man whose mother-in-law survived the tornado. Fortunately, my mother-in-law has a closet that's behind a stone wall, the chimney, and she just hung out there, hunkered, hunkered down for about five or 10 minutes until it was gone and all the glass blew all the way in. That pine tree right there is the top of that. So we don't actually have trees in this yard. And coming up in 30 minutes, we're hearing from an elected official who saw the damage. And also, we're going to tell you how you can help this community here. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Kamaria Bray. Turn to your side.